Hey guys, it's Rahim. Welcome back to my channel. I've got my investor. We're about to close a deal. So he just wanted me to finalize some certain things to ensure that all the legality, all the legal side, side of things is checked before we sign the dotted line. So if you'd like to know how to finalize a deal, ensuring all the dotted line are also crossed and checked, this video is for you. Stay until the end. You'll learn a lot more on how you could make money through investment properties let's get to it basically um like you know i'm still searching for my auction property i won't find one but my sister gave me a website that um you could look for you know like um service accommodation stuff like that what was it called again um open range mm -hmm. yeah yeah open rent yeah yeah so i sent like 200 applications good well done 200 Which yeah. I need to give you a round of applause for that. Finally, only one person I succeeded to get hold of. One person had an okay. interest, and we've been going forward and backwards. Blah yeah. blah blah. It's a lovely accommodation. Mm -hmm. My sister needed. She could start ASAP with it. Good. So the um they want us to take the key on Saturday. Okay. This is a contract. I mean to read it. I've never rented a property before, so mm -hmm. I just want your experience for you to see if there's anything that I need to talk to them before I put my signature and sign it. The guarantee, the guarantee form is for me to sign as well because they say my company is new because I'm yeah. taking it at my new company. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they say because my company is very new, it was opened in May mm -hmm. 2024. For that reason, they need me to sign a guarantor form. Yeah, that's normal. Yes. Yeah. So, but the rest of the terms and condition, I've WhatsApp you the form if everything is okay. Yeah. Right so I am looking at it. Do me a favor. Yeah. What I normally tell my investors to do. Is to, is, to, is to open the document, read it, and see if anything jump out of you. And then you revert that to me, right? right. So that way then I can say, yeah, here you go, that shouldn't, that's not normal, that's normal, this is normal, that's not normal, instead of me reading it. Because if I read, I might not even have the time to read it thoroughly as you would do, okay? So that's what I would advise you to do. And uh, also, if you're doing it on, on that basis, um, uh, the question also you need to be asking with that property, is it already HMO compliant? It's not HMO compliant. The my sister says she does not need HMO if she only put in three staffs in the property. Okay, so it, it is for her staff then, yes? Yeah, for her, so, no, not her staff, supported living client. Okay, so do they not need to have these health and safety things going if it's a three bed? No, she said if you if it's a four room, you put three staff. Mm -hmm. You don't need to ask for HMO. But what she normally do, she send the request to the council, and the council normally approve it for her. Right. So she said we don't need HMO if she put three staff in a four bedroom. That's okay. what she said. Okay. All right, that's fine. As long as you're happy with that, it's fine. And if yeah. second thing that you want to be thinking, how long is the lease? How many years is it? This okay. Is, Two years, three, I can say. Three years. It's three years, but they say there's a year of, um, what's that word? This break clause. Yeah, yeah, a break clause. 12 month break clause. Okay, I can see that here. And yeah. you also have 2,500 pound per month. Yeah. Okay, is this the going rate for properties like that in the area? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that, that. This one is a little bit expensive though, but it was it. Little bit expensive if you elaborate there. If you elaborate on that, is it not the same price? If I was to go and look for four bedroom like this, would I pay for this? Would I pay the same amount? If you're looking for the same property like that for you to live with your family, the amount is less. But if you're using it for supported living or business like this, that's how it's that's why it's higher. So that's why so it's that price. What's the difference? I don't know. That's what they, they say to us. That's what they do in Southampton, and it's very, very difficult mm -hmm. for someone to let 
it's very difficult for people to lay their property for us. Yeah, true. That's why we don't need to buy yeah. our property as well. So, so if we see one like this, we don't really mind paying the money. So how many how many bedroom is this? You said four. Bear with me. Let me just bed, let me just check how much four bedrooms are going for. Is it a semi-detached or a detached house? It's a detached house. Detached house. Okay. Four bedrooms. So it's a detached house in Southampton. Let's go for half a mile. Search. If you come up, let's do one mile. If you come up, how far is this property from city centre? Um, it's not that far. Can I give you the postcode? I've got the postcode already. I've got the postcode from the contract. It's not that far. It's my sister that went to view it and she said she's happy with the location. It's not that far from the city centre. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I need to... Mm. Okay, I was looking at the wrong wrong address. Sorry, wrong postcode. It's SO16, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I was looking at something else. Bear with me. Let's change that postcode now. Okay. Bear with me, okay, I'm checking. Okay, no problem. Right, okay. So, yeah, you, it's not that over market rent. It's just a normal rent basis because the four beds are going for 2500 Yeah. There's another one there for 2250 but that looks like a half bungalow. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we are, we are not far off. The only thing is... Yeah. Right, it's not the cheapest one in the area, right? And I, I and I think this is the house you've taken, anyways. Um, okay. uh, what was the name of the road? Is it Belmore Road? It's no, it's so, it's Sur Surgate Lane. Okay. Yeah, it's Sur Surgate Lane. Yeah, Surgate Lane. So okay, so so yeah, as long as you know that you're gonna make money out of it using the supported living thing, and you've done all your due diligence, yeah. you know, ask your sister to go and tell the council, pretend like she's got the property already. Yeah. And tell um to ask them what they will he will he she knows anyways. But yeah, but yeah. as I said always you don't wanna pay for an apple that worth fifty pence for a pound. Right? Yeah. So always bear that in mind. And I know also landlords are landlords don't like to do supported living in their properties as well. So so yeah. if they're happy to do it. As I said, read the contract thoroughly. Yeah. Right. If anything jumped at you let me know. And yeah. then obviously then we could discuss it and see if it can be amended. Okay. okay, and I can okay. see. I've, yeah, carry on. I've been through it. The only thing that I was not sure, then I've gone online to check um, landlord responsibility and tenant responsibility. As far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. tenant responsibility is to look after the house and take care of like very minimum repairs, like a block saying, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah, just little, little minor thing. Yeah. However, I know the landlord's responsibility is to do with the major work, the drainage, mm -hmm. the um, massive, you know, thing arrive. Is that correct or is it? Yeah, absolutely correct. So you've learned basically a lot from that event. So basically that you're absolutely right. Anything that covers building regulation, sorry, build, building insurance is, is the landlord. Suppose the roof is leaking. Suppose the stairs are falling off or the windows or something to do with damp. Anything major is the landlord, okay? Anything minor, like what you said, the door is broken, the hinges is not working, um, the boiler needs to be repaired, not replaced. If it's replaced, then it's the landlord's, okay? Suppose the kitchen cabinet is falling off or something to do with the floor, we need to sort out the carpet. So all that, with anything minor is you. So in our contract, we usually send to our landlords, we have a clause of £150, right? Anything under £150 is our expenses. Anything over, right, the car landlord contributes to us. Okay? But in most cases, we hardly go over 150 
-hmm. right? The only time we got over 150 is when a tenant move out and then they damage the property. But obviously we claim that from the tenant's deposit anyways. Okay. okay. So that, 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 that is very rare. And then obviously with the guaranteed rent also, you're telling the landlord that, that you're taking care of the repair and maintenance. So in this instance, yes, you're absolutely right. Um, in that in, in in that case, and does that is is that stipulated in the contract? Well, it's in the contract here. Yeah, that's the main thing I called you on um, number three. Landlord will mm -hmm. insure the property, and it's on the second page. Okay, let me just have a look at that. Bear with me. Okay, number three. The landlord will insure the insure the property. I understand and inventory. Okay, keep repair structure etc. Property, keep repair that property. All the installation and things. Okay, yeah, th this is reasonable. Okay. Yeah, 10 days if you don't pay your rent. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I think we're okay with this one on that on that on in that paragraph. But reread okay. it again just to make sure yeah. that you are hundred percent on all of it. And then if there's anything also again jump at you like like that one, just draw it to my attention before you sign on to it. Yeah, but yeah, apart from that, it looks like it's okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, and um this the last governor. So they want me to be a governor for me, the last number ten. I think that's the only place. Bear with me, let me just go back there. So what do you want to draw my attention to here? Um, it says the director of Happy Home Limited, that's me, company, hereby give personal guarantor to her. Basically, they want to guarantee it to my um, property, to my um, current property. It's a hereby personal guarantee to settle any outstanding monies owing to the landlord for the proposed mm -hmm. letting that property, mm -hmm. yes. So they'll guarantee it on me instead. Yeah? yeah, on you personally, not on your property. They're saying mm -hmm. they're gonna be a guarantor for the property that that person that you're renting. Okay, that's fine. That's yeah. no problem. Oh, yeah. that's all set to nothing. So I'm okay with everything. Yeah, sign it before yeah. they have call fit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I said. But I don't want to do it until you give me a call. Yeah. Ahead. Yeah. So yeah. So okay. so let me just see that. Okay. okay. Okay, so so it's good then. As long as they're not tying your residential property to it, where you're mm -hmm. living, we are kind of okay here. So yeah, so oh. that one also is good. Yeah. Okay. All right then. Yeah. So let's go right. smash it. This will be our, our first deal. That's 200, 200 application. You break a record. Yeah. I'm telling I you now. <laughs> what well, I did, I did a template. Mm -hmm of like you said to us mm -hmm. i did a template mm -hmm. of what i'm looking for blah 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 so i was just going through giving my templates to everybody mm -hmm. fantastic and what you said to us use what you have to get what you want exactly at that point the lady said to me oh your business is new mm -hmm. the landlord is very uncomfortable giving i said listen i've got 30k over 30k Boom. in my personal account yeah in my Business account is still in process. Once that is done, the money will be transferred to my business account. Then you see that I have money. I've got two properties you can guarantee. I was just like... I love I, that. I was just telling her everything. Say, okay, you see, I'll give you this and I have many more properties. If you can... Fantastic. They will be in business. I say, okay. Right. Is he an so, agent or, or, or he's a landlord uh, herself? No, they source out property for from landlords and they give them out. But they don't charge you sourcing fee and everything. She said, wow. you've got lots of landlords, you'll be giving me property. Fantastic. That is what we need. I told you, but yeah. this is what I told you. You only need one one person. Once you've yeah. got that person, you comfortably pay whatever you've agreed to pay them. They know yeah. one month has gone, no issue. Believe me, yeah. they will push so many deals that you'll be like, what? Hold That's on, what hold on, said. hold on. So she said she will work with me so i'm okay. so happy i just want to sign it send it back to her and go yeah. for it go go for it and let me know once you sign it so i can congratulate you for that yeah definitely once we get the key i'll keep in touch and let you know well done well done so keep keep an eye on the auction as well auction house is, is coming up 
Um, uh, so keep an eye on that. Paul Fosh is also coming up. And look at the local auctioneers as well to see if yes. we can get something this month coming. All right, no problem. My eyes will be on that. All right, not a problem. God, God bless you. Thank you very much, Ryan. Sorry about the time. Thank don't worry you. about it. Don't worry about it. This thank sort of you. things, uh, uh, we deserve to talk. Oh, thank you right. so much. All right, Jerry. Bye. 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 Fantastic. I've just advised one of my investors. Literally 200 deals she's looked at within a week. And she was able to get one. And that one has transformed the business. And she's going to go do supported living in it. And she's going to make serious money out of it. Her sister is doing the supported living. And she is getting the properties. It's exciting. It's giving me goosebumps. So um, I'm super excited. Um, it's good to see I'm impacting people positively and they're really actioning what I'm saying and what, what I'm telling them as well. So yeah, so I'm super excited. If you like what, what you've just heard, subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos. And I look forward to sharing the next one.